What's going on RBG fan band? Welcome back to another reaction video, reaction vlog to another lighter shade of brown song. Well this video, we've already done Latin act of the actual video, but this was our very first time ever on television, cable television. That's really cool. And actually a lot of people wanted you to like actually react to the to this one. They were like, oh I found a Latin active different like music video or something. They wanted us to react to it. So yeah, let's do it. I, I want to give a big shout out to uh, Gary Baca, who was uh, one of the first, as I mentioned, TV host. He was like the Latino Chicano version of uh, you know uh, American Bandstand, Dick Clark. I like to look at him uh, in my eyes. Uh, this was live TV. And That's I, cool. I wanna, live TV? This yeah. is live. This is live TV. Well, this isn't live, but, you know, that was the name of the that show. But it was live. That's what was wow. crazy about it. So, you probably, thousands of you have already seen the video. Yeah. And you guys made comments already, but that's just what makes it more fun to do, right? Yeah. So, they can kind of know, basically, the backstory behind it or your point of view on it, you know? Right, exactly. So, let's get into it. This is, um, by the way, I got my lighter shade of brown original hat that we used. Um, it was a Cleveland Browns hat and you know represented the whole lot of shit of brown thing and it was also taken on a TJ Maxx cover. Why do you call it the Cleveland Brown hat though? The Cleveland Browns is where we got you know the idea from. This was their like colors. Oh like the colors just because it's like brown and proud type thing? Yeah, yeah brown. Get it? Okay, right. get it, get it. I'm like Cleveland Brown you guys from California? Like okay okay. Yeah. okay yeah, yeah. One point for the hyena. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. This is Latin Active. Okay. We got Lighter Shade of Brown here. We got Bobby, we got Robert, we got uh, Teardrop here. And with the rest of her, DJ Kino. <coughs> Excuse the hyena, she's sick. Yeah. And they're going to do a song called Latin Active from their new album, Brown and Proud. Yo, kick it. Yo, kick it. <laughs> All the terms used back then, the verbiage. So we're all nervous right here. Yo, yo, like hell nervous. Like, what do we do? <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, turn it up, turn it up. Our dancer kicks in. Shout out to our dancer, John. I love how he's just like getting down in the background, and Bobby's just like. Oh, <laughs> uh, what do I do? What do I do? <laughs> By the way, that's not our original DJ. That was the replacement DJ when DJ Fave Love had left the group. His name was DJ Kino, yeah. Even though he said DJ Right. This was right about when, like, going back to the DJ thing, uh, Fabian had left the group, like, our very first year in to the whole Brown and Proud album. And right away we had to find a replacement because there was three of us on the cover, so Kino had um, offered to, you know, become our DJ, who was founded by our manager Cliff Ritchie at the time. He toured with us for about a few shows and then that was it. Why did, did he like just leave too? All right, I'm gonna give you an inside story. What happened was is we had our very first show out of town, which was in Phoenix, Arizona. It was a Phoenix car show. And I think it was like in 1992, that was the year. So that's everybody was there. I don't know if he was sick or he was just, he got the, he got the worst flu ever. Stomach flu or what, but then he just became homesick as well oh so was he young he was young well we were all young we were all oh, 17 yeah, yes, 18 yes, 19. Okay. bobby was 21 did with tx but no nah, he got really sick and he just missed home so he called his mama and his mama came and got him i think Aww, from phoenix that? you guys probably made fun of him huh we we did though too. <laughs> so he wasn't in the group after that. <laughs> i mean it's like you can't hang being on the road and again i don't remember if he was sick but that wasn't my decision for the yeah. record or DJ with TXs. That was a management call. So here's where we excluded the DJ and it went on just with Bobby and I. By the way, this is the original Latin actor song. 
Yeah. We did a remix. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we switched some words up for radio play. You'll see right here in Teardrop Park. down. She's getting down. By the way, her real name is Denise. Some of you probably don't know that. A lot of you, Denise, oh. aka Teardrop. Yeah, she was introduced to our group from another rapper named Bethel, who was, well, his name's Bethel, we call him Chulo. <laughs> well, that's what he called himself. <laughs> that's the home. Shout out to Chulo. Baila! It's just funny. <laughs> you met Chula? <laughs> we had our own hip hop names back then. So, he, this was his girlfriend at the time. Chulo and Teardrop were, were actually an item together. Chulo and Teardrop. <laughs> Putting the others in the second. <laughs> and she came on the scene and they were both from Pomona. So shout out to Teardrop and Chulo. Legit, the microphone just passed it. Right to me, the one that's to grasp it. Just drop the mic that you were holding. Because with the light of shaded brown, I'm rolling. She gone. I'm taking over the microphone and rocking the place with a little bit of soul and trouble and bass. See right there, she said Chicana. Taking over the mic. The original one, she said Chicana. The other one, we switched it up. She said Latina. And the reason why we did that was to make it, according to my management, more broad. Cause, so it's not just Chicana. was more like Mexican descent, you know, West Coast, L.A., uh, i.e., you know, Southern California. I'm just going to say all of Cali, West Coast. But being that we wanted to apply to and target the whole Latino descent, which is Puerto Ricans, Cubans, I mean, Anybody can use the term Latin active, so they made her change that lyric, believe it or not. All the comments you guys made, like, you know, dude's still going, homie's still going. You're gonna be down. Why didn't you go to dance with him? That just wasn't our thing. We were the rappers. I mean, we tried it for a couple, a couple shows. This is my thing right here. Oh my God. Baby, baby. <laughs> so we got son, Overalls in the jacket. You like them? I mean, they're actually back, as you know, the overalls have made a comeback, you know, the suspenders. Is that like an NFL patch right there or something? That is an NFL jacket, yeah. And oh. it's an official starter jacket, bomb jacket. It's called okay. bombers. I remember those. I wanted one, like in junior high, my dad didn't let me get one. He said they were like too gangster or something. <laughs> he didn't let me buy one. They were very popular at They were, time. but that's what I know them as, like the bomber jackets. Yeah. They were cool, and the thing was, is like it never got that cold out here in the West Coast yeah. to wear them because these were for more like back, back east. Yeah. See the emblem right there? The no. It's like a, oh, the little the necklace. Tree, like the necklace. Okay, yeah. It was like a medallion that we used to wear. A lot of people wore them back in the day, and it started from like a lot of the like uh, black artists. You know what I mean? They came out with uh, their own and they would have the African one like if you look at like groups like De La Soul they would, would wear them uh, they wouldn't wear jewelry so they would represent okay. where they cool. you know where their descent was from so we kind of got that idea so we wore a lot of ones that, that, that said what was your emblem like what, what would was say it? LSOP or it would say oh, green okay. white and red you know Raza or Mexican okay. and then all of a sudden fans started making them for us really and giving them to us so that's cool so well, that's do you have fans. them I don't man <laughs> That and a lot of other things. I'm horrible. And he's still going. Still going. <laughs> you guys are so funny though. Like. It's like we're at a house party where you kick it back by the DJ booth. Remember that? You would just stand by the DJ booth. I mean, a lot of y'all still do that at clubs. So we just, and he's the only one dancing. Yeah. Well, you gotta remember, there was no crowd. It was just us in that studio. Oh my gosh, really? So I thought you guys were like performing for like a crowd or something. Well, it was the audience that's watching this live. Okay. But yeah, there was no one studio audience. Oh, wow. So we're like so looking at a camera even, like, like this. more awkward. Yeah, right? it's like, how do you get hype when there's no crowd? Yeah, 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 okay. That was it, we were hype, man. 
Now here's the funniest part, the interview. <laughs> Why? We're just green. This is like one of our well, first interviews. I just interviews. hear a brown teardrop. Uh, I mean, when I hear that, you got a new album called uh, Brown and Proud, but when I hear that, it just makes me proud to be a Chicano, you know, Latino. And I'm glad that you're coming out with this type of stuff, you know, this material. And it's emerging. It's coming out of Los. You guys are from exactly where? Glendale. Glendale, Riverside, right? And uh, Santa Ana. Santa Ana area. Yeah. In fact, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about your album, how you came up with the concept? Because you have like names, it touches on all areas. You have names like the songs and titles like Pancho Villa, which is dealing with some of the history and uh, some party songs. How'd you come up with the concept of Lighter Shade and Brown? Well, uh, you know, we, uh, we gathered up a couple of, you know, concepts and stuff like that dealing with, uh, uh, should I say, Latin or Chicano, you know, from the Chicano descent. And what? I was nervous. You could tell I'm stuttering uh, all over my yeah. life. For the record, I still stutter yeah. on radio. <laughs> uh, got a little bit of history. Got a little bit of um, political songs like, you know, Brown and Proud, just to uplift, you know, the race and stuff. And, you know, basically talking about don't let anybody try to put you down, you know, no matter what race you are. And we're here to stick up for our brown race. In fact, you work with Tony G. Tony G worked with Booyah Tribe and uh, Sixteen, Bill Mannes, Kid Frost. What's it like working with him? Yeah, I know he re remixed a few songs. Yeah, Tony G, he's one of the producers. He's a pretty nice guy. He's real cool. He uh, did uh, the club version on TJ Nights, which was earlier in the show. And um, it's pretty fun. He's down. Yeah. What's the reception been like? You guys been to Houston? You probably been to Texas and all over the uh, United States. What's the reception been when you show up and you do your music? The reception has been great. Um, we've been playing a lot of places, a lot of convention centers and things like that. And uh, it's just been real great. The people really learned to accept us and accept the group and everybody, you know. So when are you guys going to come out with something new? Uh, something new? Well, we're just trying to work this album first. We're, having, we're not really sure. You know, we don't have a, another album in the works, but hopefully by September. We have an EP coming out. Yeah. Yeah, teardrop, uh, of course, got to talk to you, the young lady of the group here. Um, how long have you been around? Five months. Five months? Five months. Wow. I mean, you come across really good. Are you going to come out with an album? Crash course. Course. I'm coming out with an album. I have a single coming out in May. It's called Reunited. It's a single. So and by the way, her, her record never came out, and I don't know why. I don't Aww, know if there was a fallout with management or... or she did a show with you guys. Not too long ago, oh, yeah. but like two, two years, years ago, ago yeah. maybe? Bob with the you know, TX, we all did the reunion. Yeah. And she she came out and, uh, you know, but that was the last time we basically mm -hmm. heard from her, you know. But I, I think she's comfortable in what she's doing and best of luck to her, but mm -hmm. she's doing her own thing. I don't think she's rapping. It's on my album, so everything's working out fine. Yeah, be on the lookout look for the light of Shade of Brown and Teardrop. And uh, all the Latino rappers coming from all over the area, Aslan, yeah. What do you okay. think? I think it's cool just to see, like, that was, like, the beginning of you guys, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just, like, a, such a weird, like, kind of cool feeling for me. And then seeing, like, you, like, so much younger. Yeah. <laughs> None of this. <laughs> None of this. That's, it was just such a long time ago, you know? I didn't know you back then. It was. You were like a baby. I was a baby. <laughs> Yeah, we were all babies. She was legit a baby. <laughs> we were 13 years apart. Well, yeah, man, I was like 16, 17, and we were all just young in the game and starting out with our first album. I remember working that album, Brown and Proud, and a backpack full of CDs and cassettes, and we would just hand them out on Hollywood Boulevard, and just, just it was just all about street promotion and doing guerrilla marketing. But hopefully you enjoyed that. If there's any questions you have about this video or anything in general, feel free to hit us. Leave a comment. And, uh, you know, with your question, and we'll get to it on the next vlog. Um, so before we close out today's vlog, we want to give our post notification shout out, and that goes to Adrian P. And he put, he watched 10 of our vlogs in a row, he said, <laughs> so he's a big, big fan, much love. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys have to do is, one, subscribe to our channel, hit the little bell button, so that way every time we post a new vlog, you guys will get notified. And when you're done, just comment, hashtag done down below. Hey, by the way, you can get these LSO Beach hats right here, the Cleveland Brown version, TJ Knight, I like to call them, on shoplsob.com. Here's the link. And uh, <laughs> yeah, go there. You know, maybe we'll see you at a concert rocking it. Follow us, LSOB1990, on all the social media. Follow the RVG fam, Instagram, and we now have a Facebook, too. Just like, uh, follow our journey, and um, that's it. Like I said, any other questions, leave them in the comments, guys. Bye, guys. See ya. We love you. Thank you.